Ever puzzled why Jesus in the New Testament had a mountain meeting with Moses and Elijah, two Old Testament icons? Let's unravel this intriguing event. This momentous occurrence is known as the Transfiguration, a pivotal event in the New Testament. Picture this, Jesus atop a high mountain, his appearance changing dramatically, his clothes becoming dazzlingly bright. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah appear, engaging in conversation with him. Now remember, Moses and Elijah were significant figures from the Old Testament, with Moses known as the lawgiver, and Elijah recognized as a great prophet. Their sudden appearance at the same place, at the same time with Jesus, is no mere coincidence. It's a divine orchestration, a celestial summit, if you will. Quite an extraordinary summit, isn't it? But why Moses and Elijah? What was so special about them? Hang tight as we dive deeper into this fascinating topic in the next scene. Uh, Moses and Elijah weren't just picked out of a hat. They held significant roles in the Old Testament that echo in the New Testament. Moses, the lawgiver, and Elijah, the prophet, were two towering figures of the Old Testament. Their presence at the Transfiguration was not a random occurrence, it was a symbolic affirmation of Jesus' mission on earth. Let's start with Moses. He's best known for leading the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage and receiving the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Sinai. He is essentially the embodiment of the law, and his teachings formed the bedrock of Jewish religious practices. But the law was not an end in itself. It pointed forward to something, or rather, someone, greater. And that someone was Jesus. Jesus himself said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. So, Moses' presence at the Transfiguration was a sign that Jesus was the fulfillment of the law. Then there's Elijah the great prophet. He was known for his confrontations with the corrupt kings of Israel and his miracles, but his broader role was to call the people back to the true worship of God. The prophets, like Elijah, spoke of a coming Messiah who would bring salvation. So Elijah's presence at the Transfiguration was a powerful affirmation that Jesus was this long-awaited Messiah. The presence of these two figures, representing the law and the prophets, alongside Jesus was a profound statement. It was as if God was saying, here is my son, the Messiah. He is the fulfillment of all that Moses taught and all that Elijah prophesied. So in essence, this meeting was a divine endorsement of Jesus's mission, bringing together the law, the prophets, and the Messiah. Now that we've seen why Moses and Elijah were present, what's the significance of this event for us today? Let's start with a fascinating point. The Transfiguration event is a powerful reaffirmation of the continuity between the Old and New Testaments. It's like a grand cosmic play where the past, present and future converge on a single stage. Moses, the lawgiver, and Elijah, the prophet, represent the Old Testament. Jesus, the Messiah, bridges the past and the present, fulfilling the law and the prophets. But the plot thickens. The transfiguration is not just about continuity. It's a vivid testament to Jesus' divine nature. Picture the scene. Jesus, radiant in divine glory, conversing with two of history's most revered figures. It's like a supernova of spiritual revelation, illuminating Jesus as the divine Son of God. Here's where it gets really interesting. This event underscores the importance of listening to Jesus. Remember what God commanded during the Transfiguration, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. These words echo across the centuries, reminding us to heed Jesus' teaching. So why is this important? Well, it's like finding the missing piece of a jigsaw puzzle. The Transfiguration event helps us understand the bigger picture of God's grand narrative. It shows us the interconnectedness of God's plan. From the laws given by Moses to the prophecies uttered by Elijah and their fulfillment in Jesus, in our own lives it's a call to listen to Jesus, to let his teachings guide our actions and decisions. Just like the Transfiguration was a transformative moment for Peter, James and John, it can be a transformative moment for us too. In essence, this extraordinary mountaintop meeting shows us that Jesus is the culmination of all that Moses and Elijah represented, the law and the prophets, and he is the divine son of God whom we should listen to.